Welcome back. It's Sam Crack. I'm a little bit wet, and that's because I just got the Plasti Dip off that wheel. I bought this 2011 CC, and it was a great deal and came with two sets of wheels. I really like this set that's on it now, but I'm kind of a factory wheel guy, and the original owner Plasti Dipped these wheels black. Now, I went online and saw a lot of videos on how to remove Plasti Dip from your car's wheels, and wheels are a little tougher because they have ridges and they have spokes, and it's not one flat surface. So people suggested using WD-40 and scrub brushes and towels, and they have been rubbing at it. They say it takes you a while. Well, I found a way that is very quick. It's also very inexpensive and might be free because likely you'll have the product in your house already. And there's one optional tool that you might also have that will make the job go by even faster. Let me show you how to do it. So the magical product I'm talking about is rubbing alcohol. I like to buy the strongest variant, but whatever you have in your house should work. And alcohol is likely the same uh, product that's the main ingredient in the Plasti Dip solution that pla uh, Dip Your Car and all the other retailers sell. Because rubbing alcohol is really good at removing adhesive stuff. Uh, and this plastic dip is obviously somewhat adhesive. So here's the trick. Spray around the edge of the wheel. Creating a pool in between the tire and the wheel. Get as much of it in there as you can. And then just take your thumb, rub the edge a little bit where you got that pool. And you'll notice, look at it all come up. Okay, do you see how I can just go around the entire wheel and it all comes up in one piece? Now, I'm going to keep going around the wheel until it's all lifted from the, the edge of the wheel. Remember, it's a good idea to get the pool of alcohol in between. And just, you don't have to take a fingernail or anything. I just rub my finger or if you want to have gloves on, that'll work too. You just need to break the seal along. There was once a day that I would pray for you. I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too. Sneaking looks up and down from across the room. And damn, what a hell of a view. I feel good. You look great. I like you. I can't wait. A first time, a first day. You're so fine, I'm so late. You sip wine, I drink straight. Don't waste time to my place. I feel my heart erase. So catch me if I fall.
It took me about three to four minutes to peel the majority of that black plastic off. Now you see it's not perfect. And a lot of times what happens, it's just gonna get stuck in the edges here. So what you can do is spray a little bit of alcohol on the edges here and keep peeling. And again, it will come off relatively quick, way quicker than WD-40 or any of that other stuff. However, if you wanna go and now make this a really easy job, this right here is the optional tool. This is a pretty generic electric pressure washer. If you got a gas powered one, more power to you and more power to take that plasti dip off the wheels that's gonna come off real quick. But let me just show you how quickly this pressure washer takes the plasti dip off. Just to give you an idea how tough this plasti dip is, this is the uh, spray tip that has the most pressure on it. And I'm just gonna go right straight at this wheel that we didn't lift anything up on. And right here, look, I'm going right up to it. All it is doing is getting wet. It's not even remotely removing it. Well, there you have it. A wheel that's been completely stripped of Plasti Dip and no damage has been done to the paint of the wheel or the wheel itself other than the damage that was already, you know, lightly on there like a few scratches or whatnot. Somebody asked me before I did this, they said, hey, won't rubbing alcohol ruin the paint finish if it's on their car or the paint finish that's on their wheel? And the answer is no. Rubbing alcohol is totally safe for your paint. Uh, it's, it's been known to actually be used by detailers to strip your paint of contaminants before they go and polish and wax. So rubbing alcohol is totally fine. If you like this video, I encourage you to subscribe. I got a lot of updates coming on the Audi S3 rebuild project this week. And my giveaway is ending within hours. So if you enter by the end of May, you'll be entered to win one of two tools. All the details are in the description box below. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.